Hey, everybody, we're here for a new episode of Five for Talking. We're going to jump into tier list land. We will be ranking this year's upcoming jerseys. I know we do this almost every year, and they don't change that much, but there are some new additions, and I feel like, why not? I'm here with Caps, the captain of the show. And uh, I feel like, let's just go. Do you want to tell them anything? Do you have anything you want to tell them? Let's go. Uh, R.I.P. Johnny Goudreau. I think that's important. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what you were supposed to tell them. All right? That's why you're here. I know. That is why I'm here, to be cute. But that's true. That to be cute, true. it's on you. Serious, on a serious note, that that's, uh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, RIP. huge. Yeah, and to his brother, and to his brother. Yeah. Um. Okay. Here are the jerseys. Uh. For some reason, they all went out of order. <laughs> um. We're we're doing it live. Doing so it live. I think. Uh, should we add an F tier? Do you think anything's going to be an F? Yeah. Why not? Why not? And it'll be purple. Oh no, this one will be blue. Well, how are you ranking these? Like what? Uh... Um. So we'll we'll rank them on how we feel. Like just uh, how you feeling today? Cup. Okay. Um. This will be F. We won't do any fancy names. We'll just we'll do it live. Um. Hold on. You know what? These look too much alike. Do give us a little green. All right. So, Boston Bruins, how you feeling? Um, I mean, I'll give this a, I'll give this uh I'll, I'll um, either a B or an A. Um, you know, it's it's pretty, pretty straightforward. There's there's nothing fancy. Um, but you know. It's it's fine. I think it's pretty baseline. Uh, yeah. I think it's a good starter, like to throw in the middle and be like, "That's where we're at." Put the B in the B. Put the B in the B. For baseline. For baseline. Um. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that's fair. I mean, we might not even use all these categories, but you know, you never know. Uh, yeah. Buffalo Sabers. Buffalo Sabers. I mean, more or less uh, the same. Uh, I I I actually kind of dig it. I would go A. Um, I'll, I'll be honest know, with you. Fine too. I I, um, I really like the color combination. I've yeah. always liked it. It's really different. Um, it stands out more. Like I know St. Louis has like a yellow as well in their with their blue, but it just doesn't pop like that. Um, Detroit. I'm gonna take a bit of a different uh route with this. I, I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> I, I agree. Um, I'm not gonna put it in F. That was a joke. No, no I, I, I think it's fine. It's, it's a just, C. They need to change it up. They need to do something with it. I think it's uh, overstated. It's welcome, and there's a few other jerseys that, are, that I'll, I'll do the same with. But I think um, definitely they, they need to freshen things up. So this is gonna be our. This is the rule we're gonna make. Okay, I, I've decided we're having a rule here. F is gonna be only for the worst jersey in the league. Okay. All right. And I think there is a C good for Detroit. I think it's a C. I mean, that's fine. Do you want to go lower? No, I, I mean, C's fine. Okay. I mean, you, you can't take the historical aspect uh, away from it. It is iconic. Um, but, you know, it's overstated. It's welcome now. <laughs> You're so, not wrong. Not bad, not good. The Florida Panthers. Well, you you take this one. I don't really like this jersey. I like the old Florida jersey with the Panther on it jumping. I I think this the shield is like kind of lame. I don't hate the color combo or the layout of the actual jersey. I just it doesn't come together well for me in the end. I would give it like somewhere in a C if it was up to me. Yeah, you you're not gonna get an argument out of me, man. It, I I I agree with you, man. Ahead or behind Detroit? Behind. Okay. Um, this new Carolina jersey. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it. It's but not I don't a like D. It. It's not a D. I like it better than the Panthers. 
Um, do you, if you want it behind it, I'll take it. I'm not going to argue this one. This is not one worth I'm arguing. Put it behind it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about Colombo? <sighs> yeah, once again, uh, it's um, uh, the symbol's fine. Just everything around it is just not that great. I'm going to put it in a D. I don't even want to negotiate this one. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> It's it's just really boring. Yeah, the the the, the symbols fine, the logos fine, just, mm -hmm. everything around it. I don't I don't like. You've been to a game in Columbus, have you not? And it's definitely a place that you should uh, check out. Yes. Is it a nice arena? Yeah, yeah. Party atmosphere, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are always good. Uh, Vegas might have been a little too much of a party atmosphere. You could was smoke. There? They have a smoking area. Really? Wow. Yeah, I thought that was weird. And you, all you have to do is like you, you walk. Just there's a door, right? You walk right out the door, and there's a huge, massive smoking area on the top floor. That's awesome. You gotta love uh, Vegas. Yeah, I'll be back there in February. I'll probably go to another game. Oh, cool. Uh, New Jersey. Um, I, I like this jersey. I like this jersey as well. However, I do miss the stripes at the bottom of the jersey. God, I, I just noticed that right now. Well, I hate that streamlined that? look that Fanatic seems to be going for where they don't have any stripes at all at the bottom of a lot of the jerseys. Didn't they do that like in, uh, what, 2007 era? When Apocalypse. they started having those fitted jerseys that were like so thin. Yeah, and they look like practice jerseys. Yeah. I, um, I do like that. I do like New Jersey's jersey. I mean, it's at least minimum here. Let's talk yeah. it from here. Let's start here. Does it is it yeah. better than Boston? Yes. In is it better eyes. than Buffalo? No, no. Not this version, at least. Not this version. Um, the Islanders. I'm a big Islanders fan for this jersey. I you're gonna hate me for this, but I would say this is an A. I'll let you have that. I I think it's the colors are really like good together okay and also the logo is pretty cool like if you ever look at it it's new york with a hockey stick and then the long island is like literally the actual like on a map is there it's um fine. chicago all right uh let's... i don't like the white whoa 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 whoa. okay we're putting it back i, I, don't, I don't like the white i mean if it was red i, I would be like yeah put an s here but i don't like the white to the bottom what is that I it never even looks, noticed that. It just looks off to me. Uh, I I don't I don't know if I would go to F, but uh, it's just it's um, got to be an A because it's still Chicago. Yeah, hey, no, I, it's still a great, um, you know. Okay, you you tell me where it is in A. I, I mean, I I probably put it at the bottom of A because the only thing that throws me off is the white at the bottom of. Uh, and I don't like the the stupid armbands. Put them back where they're supposed to be. You know what? I think I would put them at... I, I'd put it at C. Bro, you're crazy. I'll give you... I'll do this. The only reason why I'm, I'm saying that is because uh, if you're going to compare that to to their last jersey, it's just like it's... I think they, they, they dropped the ball on this one. I'm going to keep it here. Okay. I think that's fair. Call Dorado. I was always a fan of this jersey. I think yeah. it's a great jersey. I like the upgrade to the lighter blue on the arms because yeah. it used to be a lot darker. <clears throat> I'm only going to put it in A for now, and then we kind of decide on on what steps up uh, into the S tier. I think I'll leave it there. Um, <clears throat> I I really don't like this Dallas jersey. That's a weird color, eh? It's like a really weird green. I want them to go back to the black and gold one they had when they right when they were leaving Minnesota, like the last year or two. They switched to a uh, they were still the North Stars, but it just said stars on the jersey. Yeah, it throws me off because I look at it, it's like I, I'm thinking it's a San Jose jersey. <laughs> I'm gonna put it there realistically, or do you think it's better than this? Um, that's fine. Um, I like Minnesota's jersey, I like this a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, I like it too, but I, I, I'm in the beer. B beer. You're in the B B's? Beer. I put in Oops, B's. That's the wrong jersey. Here? 
Yeah. I put it ahead of Chicago too. All right. I'll take it. Um, Winnipeg, give me your thoughts. What 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 is that? What is that the uh, color scheme right at the bottom of that jersey? Yeah, I don't even ask me. I just noticed that right now and I was waiting for you to say something. Um it's just throwing me off like the Chicago jersey. Although the Chicago jersey is much better overall, but but the Winnipeg jersey, I don't know, man. Uh uh C. Yeah, like you tell here. me, what do you think, man? That I'll 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 put it in C, but I'm putting it there in C. All right. I never liked their jersey to begin with. I think their logo sucks. I want the old Jets logo back. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice, man. If they can kind of freshen it up a little bit. Yeah. Or go harder on the blue and the red and get rid of this dumb teal, like or whatever it is that like sky blue thing that they have. Yeah. I, I don't like the the just go all in on dark blue and red. Um, okay, this Ducks jersey, I love the layout of the jersey. I like the logo a lot, especially the new re-updated logo, but I don't like the colors at all. Yeah, is that black at the bottom of the jersey? Yeah. Okay. I, I love the logo. Uh, I'll give him that much, uh, but I I'm going to have to agree with you on this. Uh, it it it's, For me, it's, it's in the C. I'll do because, that. Um, you know the 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 logo is still great, but uh, the the color scheme just throws me off. Uh okay. You want to know something? I'm already seeing something here, and I didn't want to be that guy. The three bars at the bottom. Why is it three? I think it still kind of works, but maybe it's too big. It is okay. I would say generally, just looking at this, and I'm not even a Calgary guy. I would give this S tier. But I don't, I, but but uh, the three lines at the bottom throws me off now. Yeah, it does throw me off. Uh, and the same thing for a couple jersey, uh, jerseys after this. But um, I, I'm definitely going to put it in A. Uh, however, that the, those, those lines are so thick. Like, should have been a little bit smaller. But. I'll do. Can we do that, or do you think it's better than Colorado? I think uh, the fact that I have a pro there's something I have a problem with about this jersey uh, kind of brings it down a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for now. Um. Okay, we're not gonna do this. Well, for let's now. wait. Let's wait. Um. Okay. I don't <clears throat> like Edmonton either. I, is it weird? I don't like any of the three West Coast teams. Just as like a personal preference, I I. I personally hate the Vancouver Canucks um, along with the Detroit Red Wings. Those are like probably my two most hated teams for anyone who wants to know. Um, but I really like this jersey. I like this jersey too. I, I, I think really this is like a it. sexy jersey. It's a great jersey. Um, I uh, do think though, given the way the color scheme is on the arm, why didn't they put another orange stripe at the bottom of the jersey? Yeah, uh, that I just yeah I just seen that right now too, um, but uh, I, I like the fact that the lines are a lot thinner. Um, I still like it. Yeah. I just think, I, I I think this is an A. I think this is higher than Calgary. Okay, because of the stripe issue. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna like this. Well, I, I said it a couple jerseys ago that. I think this is an iconic jersey, but I don't like the lines. I love the new logo, the way they oh. redefined it and like made it more detailed. Yep, I, I I like the logo too. I've always liked the logo. But, but these this, the these bars so are too big. big. They're too why big. So, yeah, it's too big. Why? Why did they do that? Like you could have did the arms this big, but I don't get this part at the bottom of the thing. I don't know if anyone could see my mouse. <laughs> I'm pointing at it like everyone could see my mouse. Um. <laughs> Okay, it's at least it's at least an A. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better than the uh, Montreal. I'm actually kind of a fan of the Montreal jersey. It's it's yeah, plain. I mean, it, it's it's a bit plain, but there's a few more color schemes. Like I'm I'm comparing this to to, to the Detroit. Detroit Red Wings. That's what I figured. Jersey. 
um you know and and can i say one thing yeah sure it's, it may not have changed in the same way detroit is like almost exactly the same where probably of the original six the leafs is the most different um but it's it, it has enough going on there's enough like detail that it doesn't bother me like detroit is so simple Um, I, I would agree, but I, I still wouldn't put it in A, though. This would be like a B for me. Okay, I will take that. I think it's better than Boston, though. Yeah. I actually might think it's better than this New Jersey. Um, You make that call. You make that call. Sure, I'll, I'll go with that. That's fine. I just, this version of the New Jersey jersey, I don't like. Uh, okay, ready to be very upset? This is S tier. I I don't like the logo. I like the color. The color schemes are fine. Uh, I just don't. I'm not a crazy. I'm not a fan of the logo. Um, I, I would put an A, but I I don't think it's an S tier. Okay, so and... I said these are like borderline S tiers. Um, Calgary, Colorado, Edmonton. So I'm gonna say it's at least here. Yeah. Um, Tampa Bay. This. Um... You tell me how you feel, and then I'll tell you how I feel. So when I'm looking at this, like the the logo's fine, but there is this to me looks. It, it kind of just it. it it gives me Detroit Red Wings vibes. Yeah. Okay. So you um, nailed what I was gonna say. So it's literally the Detroit Red Wings jersey. Yeah, and and I would have to put it in C, um, because the colors still work, um, but they're not as bad as to me Dallas and and Columbus. Columbus um, is just too plain. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, take I genuinely think this is okay. Homer aside, my the Homer in me says automatic S tier. The realistic person to me says this is one of the best looking logos in the NHL. The jersey's not super plain. I mean, it's not very detailed, but it has slightly more detail than Detroit or Tampa Bay does because it has the the lace up, which is more than than uh, Tampa Bay has, and the uh, the. Uh, the stripes on it are more eye-catching than Detroit. I think the color scheme is better than Boston having three colors. Uh, to me, this it has to be somewhere in the top of B or at the bottom of A. Yeah, so I was going to argue B because um, while the logo is fine, everything around has pretty much been the same for forever. Um you know, with the exception of maybe the mid two thousands, where they took out the whites from the uh, bottom of the jersey, but I think it's fair to say at this point is that they need to take a look at possibly reintroducing, uh, um, you know, something uh, with the Toronto Maple Leafs because um, it's been the same for for the longest time. It still works. It's just you know, I'm I'm kind of bored with it. I'm good with anything, but don't bring back the '90s leaf. No, I don't like that. That leaf. I don't want that back. If you if they want to bring back the weird one with the shoulder, the white shoulders from the '80s, or from like when Clark first got there, or if they want to bring back the 1967 style leaf that was almost that, but it was a little bit more pointed, I'll take that. But they got to do something like um, add another color to it or something. I think um, I do think I don't know for sure. So anyone wants to let us know in the comments or you know, call us out for it. I believe that the Leafs can't change the they can't add any colors. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard there's like some uh, sort of all the original back. six teams have to have to have the same color scheme. They can have third jerseys that are different, but they can't change the base jerseys. I mean, I think it would be kind of cool if the Leafs went with that black jersey as the as the home jersey. Hmm. I heard that I, I like it. Um, I heard the commentators have a problem with it because they have a hard time seeing the numbers, but um, you know, they 
Yeah, I, I heard that as well, that there's the, the original six have some sort of a contract where they can't change the colors. Although I have seen Boston change their jerseys. Yeah, but it's always been like a third jersey, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Um, I really like this jersey. I think the color of blue on it is the maybe the best color of blue in the NHL. It's slightly different than all the other blues if you put it next to it. I, I would say that it goes in B for sure. Uh, I maybe argue uh, maybe A, but I would. Uh, I'll put it in A. I think it's A. I think. I think it's A. I've always been a fan of this. I mean, <laughs> the Rangers across the thing is kind of whatever, but it's it's kind of iconic at the same time, right? Yes. Um. Philadelphia. Um. I kind of like this jersey. You like this one? It kind of reminds me of the uh, Eric Lindros era. The John LeClaire, Michael Renberg. Did they have the white? I'm pretty sure they had the white. Like, not in, not when he first played there, but, like, towards the end of it, I think I'm pretty sure they did something with the white. Yeah. I could be uh, wrong. I'm willing to put this in um, low B. I, I got to do that. Did that new? Every time I look at this New Jersey jersey, it's just pissing me <laughs> off. Okay. I'm sorry, it's just driving me nuts. Um, okay, does that okay, or you want it here anywhere? Is that, okay. No. Um, I want to make an, an argument for S. This is an A for sure. Nah, this is an A for sure. I want to do that. Yeah, this is an A for sure. This is the only jersey in this whole thing that I have no complaints about. I mean, I don't have complaints about Colorado either. Yeah, no, I, I have no complaints on, on this one. Uh, it's, a, it's a straight up A for sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Where are we at? Washington? Oh, yeah, Washington. Sorry, I thought you were going to say something. Uh, I thought Washington switched back to the old, the 80s style jersey. I thought they did something different too. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but if they switch to this, or I if feel it, like this person put the wrong jersey on this list. Yeah, I mean, if I it could is be wrong. This one, then I'm. This is more like a B. I don't hate this for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's better than New Jersey. I you can't. I can't deal with this. I can't. I just can't. I mean, I really like this B row. I would like to own all of these jerseys in B. I'd like to own all of these jerseys, period, except for Dallas and Columbus, because I already <laughs> have a Columbus jersey. Um, I, don't I, don't, I can't see you getting that Winnipeg jersey. Yeah, good point. Good point. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't get the Florida either. The I don't like this Nashville. It's not that great. Um, it feels like there's something missing. Um, it kind of looks like a training jersey. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I would definitely put it in D. I'm gonna say it's a D. Yeah. Is it better or worse than Dallas? I think it's worse than Dallas. It's better than Columbus, though. But it's better than Columbus. I like the logo. Yeah. Um. I don't mind this jersey at all, man. I don't either, but I don't. I, I I would like them to go back. You know when they started wearing the third jersey last year? That was like the old school style one, like from the seventies. It was like more blue and less lines. There was okay. no, there's no dark blue on it. Um, oh, okay, okay, it's like a little more brighter. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then also, I'd love I'd love them to bring back maybe the nineties style one with Brett Hall. Because I know they did have that third jersey one that has like the angular lines on it. You know which one I'm talking about for when Gretzky played there for that half a season. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, that. would you tell me where to put this, and I will I, accept. I still think it. it's a C. I think it's like here, though. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, maybe Detroit is. Maybe the red pops more. I don't know. You tell me. Who cares? It's in C. Uh, mm. Utah. This is a D. Um, non-negotiable. It's probably enough. Uh, it's going to be... We'll keep it here for now, and we'll decide later. I mean, do, do we give them, like, a... 
a pass because probably they don't even know what their team name is yet. <laughs> probably uh, in, in fairness, no. we'll leave, we will not, they will not be the team that we pull down to D. I mean, F. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Um, I really like this Sharks jersey. This is fine. Yeah. This is fine. You know what? I, I'd probably put this, uh, I'd probably put it in top of B if you want my honest opinion. I will absolutely take that because I think that's that's really good. If I think where it throws it off for me is the way the lines are. It's uh, you don't need six five lines, right? Because it's black, white, uh, green, white, black. Like yeah. you don't need that. That works. That works. Um, I'll take it though. It's a it's a nice <laughs> jersey. Uh, I I kind of like the Seattle. It's really growing on me. I love the color scheme. Yeah, the color works. Uh, at first, I thought this was weird, like the S, just that's it, like kind of kind of thing. But um, it works. Um, you know, maybe throwing a maybe throwing another line at the bottom of the jersey, but it still works, and it's still better than all the jerseys that are in D right now. So it's um, better than all the jerseys in C, I would say. Uh, if if I had to uh, put this on this tier list, I would put this right in front of floor, uh, excuse me, Philadelphia. Okay, if I was putting it, I would put it ahead of Montreal. So let's settle for between Boston and Montreal. Um, I don't really like this Vancouver jersey. I like the colors. I actually think that logo is pretty cool, but I don't think the combo of it works. I'd rather have back the hockey stick logo or have them go switch back to the black color ones and get the that Canuck big circle thing, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. Uh, if you're asking me to place it on a tier list, I'd probably put it in front of Tampa. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't know what you think. Um, and you know what? I was going to ask if you could put the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, jersey behind the Anaheim jersey, which you yeah. just did. Thank you very much. I think Detroit and and, and uh, the Lightning unfortunately have to move together, <laughs> um, because they're basically the same jersey. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna actually say I think. St. Louis and New Jersey are lower than both of those. No, I wouldn't put Jersey. Uh, I for me, I think the Jersey, the Jersey, New Jersey, 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 is to me is still better than the Vancouver. Uh, what Jersey. about St. Louis? I, and I will put St. Louis back in that second spot. Okay, I'll agree with that. Um, yeah. I do not like this Vegas jersey. I liked it better the other color scheme. Um. I don't know if I can put it in D. I just don't know if I can go that low, but it's, I don't know if I can go higher than C. Yeah, it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not a D, but it's not a B. Um, if, uh, and I, I probably put it ahead, at least ahead of Carolina. Um, I'll give it ahead of Florida. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like the color scheme of Florida. I'm not going to lie. All right. So we have this laid out. I think it's unanimous that Columbus is the worst jersey in the NHL. Yeah. I, I, I just think it's so plain. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I I'm willing to give Utah a pass because I'm still waiting on what they're going to do. Um, but if this is in fact the jersey that they're going with uh, this season, man, that's that's it is. I believe it is because they're not going to be named in this first season. Yeah, and maybe they were just pressed for time. Who knows? But um, the color scheme will be what they use apparently. Yeah. yeah. But uh, dude, I'm telling you, man, like uh, that Utah or Columbus is kind of interchangeable. Uh, it's yeah, not that. the only reason Utah's not here is not an F is because we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, for that, and I'm gonna just do this 
I'm not really making to give you options here. I'm going to put both of those in S. And I think that's the tier list. Um, Unless you want to yeah. negotiate something else going up to S. No, no, I don't know. I don't want to negotiate that. I do actually want to negotiate Winnipeg going down one because I really hate that stupid yep. light blue. Okay, like it's thank so you. dumb. It is dumb. Yeah. Like if they would have taken the, uh, the uh, darker, uh, I guess that's blue, and put it beneath the lighter blue, maybe it work would work a little bit better. But it just it just looks so off to me. Um, oh, we're gonna get shattered in the comments for this. Sorry, it just looks off to me. No, nah, but just like generally, I think I actually am pretty okay with this tier list. There's some changes I would make, but I think there's just some choices we made, like Chicago, that people are not gonna like. Um, I, well, I mean, I think yeah, I think we explained it uh, very well before. Like we we still enjoy the the logo. We still enjoy the jersey overall. It's just the white at the bottom of that jersey just throws me off. Like I, I don't understand what was the thought process behind that. Um, it's still fine, but you know, um, it's just it just looks off to me. Um, Would you go with a, a black at the bottom or a red at the bottom? No, I go with the red at the bottom. I, I, I mean. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and and that is one of the more iconic jerseys. Yeah, it's also uh, weird that they went white, black, white, black, white. Yeah. Um, but, you know, a lot of these jerseys are great. Uh, uh, you know, trying to ease up on, on getting thrashed. In the, in the I, I just think outside of the D tier, they're all pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. There's something just... good. There's something credible about every jersey after d yeah but um you know um even that ottawa jersey that that red at the bottom throws me off too oh that red. jersey looks so sick you're insane it, it, the jersey's fine it's just the red that throws me off at the bottom man they could have just uh put black at the bottom after the red I don't know. I, I I'm just trying to figure. You out know what though? If button. they did, you see how the arms are two stripes. If they did two red thin stripes at the bottom with black at being the very bottom, would have been fine. It would have been a lot better. Would have been fine. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I might have to buy one of those. I really like those. Yeah, Tim Stutzla. <clears throat> All right, that's it. This is that. This is it. The episode. 